Shoal power is providing electricity from ports to the ships while the ships are in port and the ships uh, then switch off their generators. This is also called coal ironing. Ambuja Siemens uh, can be considered as pioneers in uh, providing shore power to ships uh, since uh, inception. We started our shipping operation way back in 1993 and since then all our ships in terminals are receiving shore power. Cement plants in Ambuja Cements are designed with the world's standard emissions, lowest in its class in India, way back in 1986 when the cement plants were set up and production started. In 1992, Ambuja Cement conceptualized movement of bulk cement from Gujarat plant to Mumbai. This was to reduce traffic on the roads because we would need large number of trucks to move cement as well as reduce pollution because ships emit less emissions as compared to trucks. Ambuja cement ships have generators on board only for the domestic load. Ships do not have generators for cargo handling system from day one. This was actually designed at the drawing board stage itself. So we have now not fitted the larger generators. We are uh, receiving shore power in all the three terminals where we are operating. The advantages are many. First and foremost is uh, less pollution in ports. Second is more crew comfort because uh, generators are switched off, less noise and less vibrations on board the ship. Third, the crew gets more time for carrying out maintenance of other equipments while the ships are in port. Next is the uh, less maintenance cost. And uh, last and another important point is that we have not fitted the larger generators, thus less weight on board the ships and less capital cost. So it has worked very well for us. We have 10 ships now in operation, three terminals, and we have fully optimized this model. We have also extended shore power to harbour ducks. As far as maintenance is concerned, uh, we have a PMS schedule and we strictly follow that. There is a need to uh, frequently inspect the junction boxes and the condition of cables as they are being handled continuously while the ships are in port. As far as safety is concerned, we have a strict training uh, regime for the operators. The operators need to be well versed with the operation of cables and connectors. Uh, wearing of PPs is a must while connecting and disconnecting the cables. For providing shore power, the ports have to create the infrastructure up to jetty and the ships which are operating between uh, the same ports, dedicated ports, technical issues may be less because there will be no frequency and voltage mismatch. However, for ships which are going to different ports, this needs to be addressed. Uh, ships or ports may need frequency regulators or voltage transformers, either on ship or ashore. This needs to be worked out. Another concern is that the electricity supplied by shore to the ships must have stable voltage. Otherwise, the ship's equipment may get damaged. Shipping has uh, initiated the uh, shore power for all the ships in Indian ports. They have instructed all the ports to provide shore power at the earliest so that ships can switch off their generators when they are in port. So community will definitely benefit because uh, there will be less emissions from the ship's generators such as uh, greenhouse gases, CO2, SOX, NOX, particulate matter and uh, the coastal belt will be uh, less polluted, the environment will be less polluted and definitely people will have better lives to live. So INSAI is uh, doing a commendable job in uh, 
disseminating this knowledge and information to other ship owners so they can replicate this model and uh, implement it at the earliest. I hope many other ship owners will benefit from this.